before I do anything, I would love to give honor to my Lord and Savior, to my Redeemer, my Counselor, my Prince of Peace, my strong tower, yeah. my refuge. Yeah. He's everything, everything to me. My doctor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. My lawyer. Hallelujah. He has everybody been everybody. everything Hallelujah. to me. And I want to give him honor oh. tonight before I do anything oh. in this place. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. And then second, I want to honor the head of this house. Listen. This prayer house Listen. is Pastor James O. Bowman yeah. Sr., right. oh. which is my father, yeah. which is my daddy. Right. I'm a daddy's girl. Right. I thank God for him. Yeah. And I want to honor the elder and his beautiful wife. Yeah. And I want to honor yeah. my Eminem, yeah. Miss Betty Bowman. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Honor all the deacons yeah. and the saint in the house tonight. Yeah. I thank God for you. Yeah. I thank God that y'all had a thirst yeah. and a hunger to come and hear a word from the Lord tonight. Okay? Tonight is a night of revival. And it's the last night of this revival. Alright. And the theme of this revival is Are You Ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? And the scripture was Luke 2, Luke 10 and 2, I apologize, Luke 10 and 2. And it said, therefore, therefore. said he unto them, yes. the harvest truly is great, but the labor are, the laborers, with an S, uh -huh. are few. Uh -huh. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest. Yeah. That he would send forth laborers, again, with an S, yeah. into his harvest. All right. Mm -hmm. My Lord. But God gave me a word yeah. 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 to go along with that word. Yeah. Yeah. And it's in the book of Genesis, Genesis. 21, 21, 9 through 13. Genesis 21, verse 9 through 13. Amen. Let everyone stand when they have the word. Amen. 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 And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, which she had born unto Abraham, a marking. Uh -huh. Wherefore she said unto Abraham, yeah. cast out this bond woman right. and her son. Yeah. <laughs> For the son of this bond woman shall not be heir uh -huh. of my son right. even with Isaac All right. and the thing which very and the thing was very grievous Abraham. in Abraham yeah. sight because of his son right. and God said unto Abraham let it not be grievous in thy sight right because of the lad and because of thy bondswoman yeah. in all that Sarah has said unto thee, unto thee right. hearken unto her voice yeah. right. for in Isaac shall thy seed be called uh -huh. and also of the son of the bondwoman yeah. Will I make a nation because he is thy seed? Amen. 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 The title that God gave me yeah. Will the real one stand up? All right. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. Will the real one stand up? 
up. So you know about Isaac and Ishmael. Mm -hmm. Isaac was the promise and Ishmael was a counterfeit. Uh -huh. yeah. And I want to go and talk about the counterfeit Ishmael, but before I could speak about him, I need to go further back in the story and tell y'all what God revealed to me. All right, all right. In the beginning, he spoke to Sarah, Sarah, uh -huh. and told Sarah that she would have a baby. That's right. Sarah laughed. Right, that's right. As if God was joking. Yeah. <laughs> then, I guess. You know how we are as people, we don't want to wait on God. All right. All right now. So Sarah tried to take things you know, in her right. own hand. That's right. That's right. And she gave her husband her maid. Yeah, yeah. And when she gave the husband a maid, yeah. it messed things up because she was out of order. All right. All, All right. right. Say that now. All right. All right. Now, what I want y'all to understand is that we as people, sometimes we make move before God and that's we make right. decisions, that's right. and that's a sign of being disobedient, disobedient. to yeah. what the yeah. word what the of word the Lord yeah. say. Yeah. Because he tell us to wait. wait. That's right. wait. And he tell us wait patiently. That's right. All right now. Okay. That's right. That's right. So with Sarah... Because of this counterfeit son, yeah. I said, God, how did he end up being counterfeit? And God said, well, Sarah, she moved too soon, so she was disobedient. Right, okay. And because she was disobedient, Sarah had some other issues that was going on with her. All right. Because... She looked at the time and she looked at her age. Mm -hmm. She didn't have faith in the God that she serves. All right. All right. All right. All right. She didn't trust the God that she served. Right. All right. Sarah even showed that she had low self-esteem yeah. about what God said that he was going to do through her. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yeah. Bring it down. Right. Sarah had some issues yeah. with herself. Right, that's right. And God is showing me that sometimes as people of God, uh -huh. we have some issues. Right, that's yeah. right, that's right. We deal with abandonment. Yeah. We deal with impatient like yeah. Sarah. Right, right. We deal with, we deal with um, rejection. Yeah. We deal with we look at ourselves and be like, nah, like Moses, I stutter, mm. so you can't use me. All right. We look at all of those issues, <laughs> and some of us, we don't even recognize our issues. That's right. All right. That's right. That's right. All right. Sarah didn't recognize what was going on in her. Right. Because if she did, she wouldn't have made the decisions she made. That's right. That's, right. That's, That's the key right. point. That's right. That's right. But because she made the decisions she was made, there was a, a son birth. Uh-huh. And do you know, as people of God, we birth things in the natural as women and also as men and women of God in the spirit? All right. All right. All right. All right. So All right. whatever spirit is on us, yeah. we birth it. Yeah. All right. So Sarah, by her having those issues, uh -huh. when she gave her husband, her maid to her husband, right. That spirit that was on her yeah. spilled onto the maid, uh -huh. spilled onto her husband, yeah. and spilled onto the counterfeit son. All right, yes. all right, all right. Come on. It's all right. Mm -hmm. it's all right. And as people of God, we are supposed to have clean hands uh, and a pure heart. That's right. That's it, baby. Oh, that's right. But we up here, we minister. Yeah. We teach, That's right. we minister in our homes, yeah. we minister at school, we minister on the job, but we still have some stuff in us All right. that is not allowing us to birth 
the promise. Uh -huh. Amen. All right. All right. We cannot birth what God has, what promises we should do if we have some issues. All right. If we have some spirits that we have not allowed God to heal. Oh, oh. We have not allowed God to deliver us. God said to me, because I'm going to tell y'all this. Let me go this. Let me go this way. All right. With me. Yeah. This week. Yeah. God allowed me to see me. All right. And my issues. And then he remind me that he's my healer and my deliverer. That's but the right. only way my issues will leave me uh -huh. is I have to confess my issues All to right. him. Right. I have to recognize yeah. what I'm dealing with. Right. And let me get back to the story. Right. So when Sarah recognized her issues... Uh -huh. What she did, she corrected. Yeah. She moved the woman and her son from her husband and her All right. household, All her right. child. All right. But the issue yeah. that she spread it was still in the yeah. son. Yeah. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Because when the the, the bound woman ended up out in the wilderness. She had took on some other issues too. All right. Because she started feeling rejected, yeah. betrayed, All right. abandoned. She, she she started feeling like she had low self esteem. She was worried about what, how she gonna feed her child. Yeah. She was worried about where was they gonna what what, what where they gonna live yeah. if they had a roof over their head or not. All of these issues. Issue. Issue. And because she was having that issue, uh -huh. come on now, when she spoke to her child, what happened? Yeah. It right. spewed over on her child. All right. All right. All right. So that is why Ishmael was the counterfeit uh -huh. and Isaac yeah. was the promise. Yeah, that's, that's right. The counterfeit, I want y'all to understand, is some of us. Uh huh. All right. All right. Some of us need to allow God to heal us. That's right. Some of us need to allow God to deliver us. Yeah, yeah. We want to say, holy, holy, thou art holy. Um, God, you created me in your image. Right. I'm a new creature in God. Right. I am blessed and highly right. favored. Right. You proclaim that. Yeah. <laughs> but she don't look like all right, it. All right, all right, all right, that's all right. That's all in right. the inside. Yeah, Woo! all right. God dropped in my spirit earlier about a Gucci bag. Yeah. You know, you got the real Gucci, uh -huh. and then you got the counterfeit yeah, Gucci. Yeah, that's right. And they look alike, look alike but something, right. if you look closer, yeah. you could tell the yeah. counterfeit uh -huh. from the real. Yeah. And then he said to me that we as a people of God <laughs> had to stop yeah. playing. That's right. And stop being counterfeit. Yeah. But yeah. allow him to come in, y'all. And allow God. God to minister to you. That's allow right. God to show you your stinky yeah. self. Allow God to show you where you are messed up at. Yeah. Where your conversation, your attitudes, yeah. your yeah. emotion, yeah. Yeah. and all of those issues right. that you have yeah. within you, you need to allow come on, God come on. Come on now, to show right. it to that's you. That's all right. All right. And then when he show it to you, yeah. you go back and say, God, uh -huh. I confess. All right. I confess uh -huh. my yeah. issue. Yeah. Yeah. I have a problem have with a problem. this. Right. And I have a problem yeah. with that. Yeah. And I have a problem with anger. Yeah. And I have a problem with malice. And I have a problem. Whatever your problem is, you yeah. just give it, give it to God. God. Give it to yeah. God. Give it to God. But you got to confess right. yes, the yes. problem. Yes. Yes. You know, we think it just saying, God, forgive me, and I repent. And then you keep repenting because you keep doing the same thing because you never confessed it. Yeah, all right, all right. All right. 
Say that. Right. You never confessed it, and you never gave it to God. Right. So you walking around here counterfeit. Yeah. Okay. All right now. <laughs> you walking around here looking like you say, yeah. sounding like you say, yeah. the dance like right. you say, right. speaking right. tongues like right. you say, yeah. but you counterfeit. All right. all right now. All right. That's all right. All right. Speak the word. Speak the word. Amen. Hey. And God said, no, his children, they're the promised children. Uh -huh. He made a promise to us. Amen. And then the all, all, only, way, only way we can receive that promise, y'all, yes. yes. is to really give ourselves to God. Amen. Stop That's playing right. with God. Right. Stop being in the house fussing and, and fighting and everything yes. and then yes. coming in the house of God. Yes. All right, all right, all right. All right. Amen. It's all right. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Stop speaking to your kids yeah. any kind of way yeah. and then coming in the house of God. Yeah. <laughs> you counterfeit. Yeah. All right. That's all right. God showed me some people have some unclean spirits, some yeah. spirits of, of perversion and yeah. spirits of hatred and yeah. spirits of to being tormented. Yeah. You have all these spirits yeah. Yeah. and you still coming in the house of God. Yeah. And we're so, we're so bad about it. Yeah. It's some of us leaders. Yeah. Yeah. We up here in the pulpit yeah. and they don't even realize yeah. that every time they get up here and open their mouth and they get on these mic and they have your ears listening to them and they pouring your, their spirit in you. So if they dealing with anger and pride and high look, they pouring that in you. If they dealing with unclean, they pouring that in you. But God said get clean up. God said pour yourself out. Confess your sins unto him. Confess your sins. Clean yourself up. Yeah. I know revival is supposed to be about renewing and restoring and refresh, but we're going to get to that part. Sometimes we got to get to the root of the matter before we can get to the part that's going to pick us up and encourage us and heal us. All right. That's all right. I got you on that. But God is what to, He want us to get it right, y'all. Yeah. He said to me, that's why the harvest is plenty and the labors is few. Because if we walking around here counterfeit. Come on now. That's all right. That's right. That's right. That's all right. We walking around here counterfeit. Yeah. All these churches almost on every block, yeah. not even miles a mile away from yeah. each other, yeah. and, and they, they're not even filled. Right. This, every right. church that have a community, yeah. the people in the community should be in the house of God, yeah. but it's not because we walking around as counterfeits. All right, all right, that's right, that's right, that's all right. My Jesus, my Jesus, that's all right. God want us to get it in order. He coming in soon and he coming for the church first. And we are the church. It's not this building, it's us. We coming in here every Sunday and every Wednesday and every time we have a program and we still stinking and dirty and filthy. But on the outside we look like we supposed to be in here. Amen. God just want us to get it right. He just want to clean us up, y'all. We in the last days. We are in the last days, y'all. I never said that, but I'm feeling it to my bone right now, y'all. I never told anybody that we are in the last day because the word of God said no man when God knows when Jesus coming back. But no man know. But guess what? I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Come on, spirit. Come on. Feel it. Holy Spirit. Believe yeah. it. It's all right. Yes, Lord. It's all right. It's time. Yeah. Teach, baby. Teach. It's time. Teach. That we really get in the face of God. You ain't got to come up here yeah. and have a preacher lay their hands yeah. on you. Right. You ain't got to come up here yeah. and have nobody say nothing to yeah. you. I yeah. ain't got to say nothing but speak the word. Yeah. But show the word do say, work yeah. out your own salvation. Right. So today you got right. this word yeah. and you know what you need to do. Because God gave you instructions. Confess. Repent. Confess. Repent. Because when you confess, yes. you're giving it to him. Give it all. Give it all. Yes, all right. Lord. Have your way, Lord. 
It's time to stop saying forgive me and repent and you go keep doing the same thing. Still cussing. Still doing all types of stuff that is not of God. You having thoughts that is not of God. You need to ask God, God, where this come from? Where this come from? He even showed me it, it as I was reading the word and as I was listening to the word, the, 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 the double-minded man. Yeah. The double-minded man is running rapid now. Rapid, yes. Yes. And even in the church. Yes. And people don't even look like, uh, um, could tell because they don't taught themselves to be a functioning, double-minded, schizophrenic person. Yes. <laughs> all right. Woo! All right. Thanks, Lord. Thanks. All right. They don't taught themselves to be yes. able. Yeah. At a certain time, the whole day composer. And they run around here just as double-minded and schizophrenic. All types of stuff running through their mind. Up walking in fear and paranoid. Being tormented in their own inside. And they bring that spirit in the house of God and want to preach and teach yeah. and want to sit next to you right. and want to call you and, and gossip on the phone right. and, and be so discord yeah. and call you and say, did you catch that? Yeah. All right now. All right, All right. All right. All right. now. Pastor, Pastor talking about so-so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> It's time that we Get it in order. I know. I know this revival. But see, I can't. I can't see revival um, being not getting what you need to move forward. You understand what I'm saying? I can come here and just talk about the promise of God, but God wants you to know that it's some messed up stuff in us. And in order for us to get the promise, because look, we can keep talking about the promise, and I can tell you all the promise of God, but guess what? If, if, if you ain't right, uh-huh. You ain't making it in. Right you ain't making it in. He said he coming back for those with no wrinkles, yeah. no spots, yeah. and no blemish. Yeah. So if we got all of that in us, we ain't making it in. All right, all right. We ain't making it in. Because let me tell you, his word also yeah. say yeah. he comes in the house. Yeah. And when he come in, he clean it and garnish the house. Yeah. I saw God in the spirit. He said, I'm sealing up the cracks. Yeah. All right. He said, I'm repairing the roof, yeah. the leak in the yeah. roof. All right. All right. I'm restoring the foundation. Yeah. See, when he come in your house yeah. and clean it up, right. he coming in and do everything yeah. that need to be done. Yeah. If you need some new windows, you need oh. some seal around the door, he come and do that. Yeah. He just don't come and clean it up. He come and fix it. Yeah. He make it like it's new. Fix it. All right, now. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. <laughs> all right. Have your way now. All right. yeah. But that's all you have to do yeah. is confess it and let him come in and yeah. clean, clean it. Me. Yeah. Clean me. Yeah. I love God. Yeah. Yeah. Because today, I believe those that have been walking around with the spirit of counterfeit, yeah. oh, right oh Lord, all right. they're going to have some one-on-one time with God. All right. All right. You know, I believe in God to deliver and some heal, yeah. you know, even from some generational yeah. curses, y'all. Yeah. Y'all know we got some yeah. generational yeah. curses. Yeah. Y'all know how the enemy yeah. try to slip in through our, 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 our generation, yeah. our great-grandmother and our great-great-grandmother and yeah. grandfather and on yeah. the father's side and the mother side, yeah. but if you just allow God, yeah. God to come in and show yeah. you, he, you will have people call you and tell you stuff that's going on in your generation yeah. that happened years ago, and you'll be like, wow, God, thank you. I need to pray against yeah. that thing. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. God want us to get to that point that, look, even when he clean us up, y'all, yeah. when people come with those foul spirits, that we could get to the point that we can stand all right. and not be wavered yeah. right. and not be moved. Right. And you can say to God, God, I'm covered in the blood yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm okay, God, because yeah. you got me. Yeah. I'm okay, God, hallelujah, because that's not me. I'm the one that you use, God, to break that generational curse. I'm the one that you 
use, God, to keep my family alive because I'm praying. I'm pleading the blood of Jesus, God. I'm speaking life into them, God. No matter what it look like, I'm going to speak life. Speak it. That's right. That's right. Speak it. Woo. That's what comes with the promise. Because the promise, God give us power. God give us authority. The promise, he said, hallelujah, that we need to be born again, okay? In the book of John 3 and 3, you know, he said we must be born again. Hallelujah. We can't be born as that counterfeit because from the beginning we come in counterfeit. Can I say that? Yeah. We come in counterfeit. No. He knew us before we was in our parents' my mother's womb. That's right. But that was in the spirit. Yeah. All right, now. Once we go in our parents' womb, yeah. we in the flesh. Yeah. So when we born a flesh, yeah. we born a counterfeit. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, now. All right. Whatever was spoken to your mama or daddy, whatever was spoken over you while they was carrying you, all of that stuff is you bringing with you in this world. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm trying to get a job to understand the yeah. importance yeah. of us really being set hey. free yeah. and getting to the understanding yeah. of right. how God really moved yeah. in the spirit. Yeah. All right. He don't want us bound. No. All right now. He, he don't want us bound. That's right. He set his son so the son could set us free. free. That's right. That's right. That's right. He gave his son on the cross for me. For us. That's right. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. God has so many promises for us. Yes, yes. He promised us that when we are in him, he is in us. That's right. That's right. He promised us greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. That's right, baby. That's right. He promised us we could do all things through Christ that's Jesus. Right. That's right. That that's right. That's right. He promised us joy, y'all, the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. Yeah. He promised us that he's our healer, yeah. our way maker, yeah. our portion, right. our provider. All of these promises belong to us. All of those things Thank is you. our inheritance. But it's only for us to get it, honey. We can't be counterfeit no more. We got to be the one. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That he promised to give the blessings to. That's all right. Yes, Lord. That's all right. I love God. I love God because he said, let your enemies be scattered. Let God arise yeah. and let your enemies be scattered. Yeah. Yeah. You, have to, you have to know God's oh, word. Yeah. You know, you might not know where to find it in the Bible, but you remember that word and you just speak that word. And you say, God, okay, God, you, you say to me, God, uh, let this mind that be in Christ Jesus yeah. also be in me. Yeah. So the devil, I'm commanding you to leave my mind. You are a liar. All right. All right. That's the promise of God. All, right. All his word is promised. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. And we are his promised yes. children. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Why are we his promised children? Because he have a purpose for yes. us. Yes, yes. yes. He has a plan for us. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He wants to use us to go get the harvest. All right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The harvest is going to come in by the sound uh -huh. that you carry. Yeah. 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 And when I say the sound yeah. you carry, yeah. I'm talking about the Holy Ghost that speaks through you. Yes. I'm talking about the God that's yeah. in you. Yeah. The God of God, the Lord of Lord, the King of King, the Alpha, the Mega, the Beginning, the End, our Healer, our Deliverer. He's in you. God revealed to me, He said, I said, I draw all men to me. But guess what? All, when, he, when He's in you, He's using you because He's speaking through you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Man, if you speak it to people and the harvest ain't coming in, All right. there's an issue. issue. There's an issue. But you can't worry about when they're going to come when you do right. speak. Right. Let me say that. That's right. 
Because God was said one plant, one water, and he do the increase. Yeah, that's right. But as long as you know yeah. that you are doing as the promised child that you are, yeah. that God commanded you to do in his spirit, yeah. in his spirit, you're going to draw him in. Yes, Lord. You're going to draw him in. And you're going to draw in promised people, yes. not counterfeit people. That's right. Amen. Amen. Because of the spirit of God that's in you. Yes. Speaking. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You are the promised child. Yes. And God has plans for yes. us. Thank you. Hallelujah. I wanted to give y'all some scripture. Yes. He said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. All right, that's right. That's what he said. The word of God said he give us knowledge. That's in, Ho that's in Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah. The devil is a lie. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God even says hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your flesh is dead. Amen. Your flesh is dead. Amen. We need to go, you you in the flesh is dead. Uh-huh. Yeah. You in the flesh is dead. All right. So when you saying you doing the work of God and you not hearing God. All right. And you not allowing God to speak through you. Yeah. You in your flesh. You in the flesh, that's right. You doing it of yourself. Yeah. But the promise kids, they speak what? With who? They allow who to speak? The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I have so many scriptures, y'all. I can't give y'all all of them. All right. But John 4, 23 through 24. <laughs> the Spirit and the truth. The Spirit and the truth. What is the Spirit? The Spirit is the Spirit of the Holy Ghost Holy, that's Holy in us, y'all. That's one of God's promise. Yeah. He give us the Spirit, spirit. and the truth. Yeah. The truth is spirit. His wisdom, spirit. knowledge, understanding, yeah. His power, His anointing, yeah. all that God has for us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's right. He says right here, without he said, without the Spirit, you are unable to recognize the Spirit of God. Uh-huh. Got that word. You know why it's, it's hard for you to recognize the Spirit of God? Yeah. You don't know who Because you don't know Him. He's not in you. That's right. That's right. He's not in you. Yeah. not in you. And then when the Spirit do come yeah. upon you, you yeah. get agitated. Yeah. People getting on your nerve and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I'm saying check yourself. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Check yourself. Yeah. Look at you. Yeah. I had to look at me. All right. Because people was getting in my nerves. Uh, I love <laughs> you it. know. Uh, all right now. That's all right. And John 12 and 32. The Holy Spirit said, it's the Spirit of God that's in us that draw people in. Didn't I tell you that? Yes. Amen. Luke 4 and 1, we are not being led by the Holy Spirit. That's counterfeit. All right. The counterfeit doesn't be led by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Acts 1 and 5, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. All right. Amen. Amen. We have to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. The Holy Ghost has to dwell in us right. for us to be the promised That's child. Right. Right. For us to take a part of God's promise. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because God promised us some things, y'all. Right. If you read that word, he promised you some things. Yeah. And most of us right now, only thing we want more than anything is peace. All right. Amen. Yes. Yes, Lord. I know. Right. And the only way you're going to get peace is allowing God in you. Yeah. I found out when we were in the Bible when Jesus was on the boat uh -huh. and he was the prime example right. and the boat was being thrown, tossed and fro and, yeah. 
he was asleep. Yeah. And everybody else was scared and shaking in their boots. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But God, but God. But God. All right. gave his son yeah. peace. Yeah. peace. And the same peace he gave Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He gave it to us. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Thank you. up. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Acts 1 and 8, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, give us power. All right. Yeah. With the Holy Ghost and the Word. Do you ever notice sometimes when something is happening and, it, and the enemy try to come in, but the Holy Ghost in you would come up and give you a word? Yeah. Amen. All right. All right. That's Amen. it right there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's it right there. That's your power. That's your power against the enemy. That word. That word that's written on our heart and hung around our neck like an ornament. That's our power, y'all. That's why God says, study to show thyself approved. And he also say, work out thy own salvation. It's so important. Yes. Amen. We don't want to be counterfeit no, no more. No. Amen. We want God to examine us. We yes. need to self-examine ourselves and stop pointing fingers all right. All right. at everybody else right. and talking about what everybody else saying and what everybody else doing yes. and just hush and be and pray. Pray. That's Amen. right. And pray. And do. Clean me. Yes. Pray. That's right. Recognize it's a spirit. All right. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Yeah. But the principality. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. In Hebrew 3, 6, and 7, the word, God said, we need the Holy Ghost to hear. All right. All right now. We need the Holy Ghost to hear. Matthew 13, they talk about those that hear and doesn't hear. You hear what, you, what you're doing, you're listening, but you're not hearing. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, all right. Lord. Amen. Amen. You're seeing, but you're not getting the insight. Mm. All right, now. That's all right. They talk about hearing and seeing in Matthew 13. Yeah. That's a promise of God. We, as children of God, that's one of his promises that he give us, as one of his children, the benefits of hearing his voice All for right. ourselves. All right. That's all right. In Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2, 9 through 10. God revealed things by the Spirit. Yes. Sure this is what the promise get. The promised children. We are, he, um, in other words, all these promises he give us equip us, y'all. It equip us. It's a, it's, it equip us. Yes. It gets you ready. Up. That's right. That's right. Hey, Elder, say it gets you ready. Amen. Yes. Corinthians two and eleven. You got to have the hope. You got to have the spirit of God to know the things of God. Yes. The Holy Ghost gonna give you confirmation, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, revelation, and everything you know need to know what is of God. All right. That is what is promised to his promised children. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. It's all right. In Corinthians 2, 1 and 2 and 12, he said, we are different from the world. Yeah. We are set apart from the world. We're not counterfeit. We're not, we, the counterfeit People are people of the world. Because anything that's keeping you in the flesh and from the spirit is of the world. We need God to reign in this body of ours. Amen. It, it becomes a temple and no longer a flesh. Yeah. 
When he in it, it's the temple of God. Yeah. See, and what's so dangerous about serving God uh -huh. and saying we the people of God and, and operating in the spirit of counterfeit? Yeah. In Matthew 7, <laughs> 22 and 23, he said, I never knew you. You praying, laying hands, preaching, and, and all of this stuff. And he said, I never know you. It's a story in the Bible that talk about the wedding and the king. And everybody that came to the wedding was dressed up in the garment. They looked it like him. They sounded like him. They think like him. They speak like him. And it was just one that wasn't in the garment. He stood out from everybody else. Uh-huh. Because he was a counterfeit. Yeah. God knows what he is. That's all right. In 1 Corinthians 2 and 13, God's word is spiritual. In order way for me to read this word and take the Holy Ghost to show me yeah. in the spirit realm yeah. what does say the Lord in this word. Yeah. His word is spiritual. Yeah. It's life. It breathes. It heals. It delivers. Get in it. Get in it for yourself. Get in it. Ask God to give you wisdom. Yeah. Ask Him to give you understanding. Yeah. He gonna give it to you. What you ask, He gonna give it to you. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. <sighs> In Psalms. 39, verse 23 and 24. The Holy Spirit said, allow God to search our heart. Allow God to search our heart, the things that's in it. You're gonna have to. It's gonna take him to reveal to you the deep, dark stuff that you don't want him to touch. All right, all right. I remember when I went to Miami and I was on the beach and I was looking in the water and God said to me, hey, the further you look out, the deeper it get, yeah. the darker blue the water get. Right. He said, and I want you to see, imagine how deep it is and it goes so deep yeah. that man can't even get yeah. down there. Right. All right. Man can't even touch those areas. Yeah. And he said, it's some mystery things the down mystery. there. Yeah. He said, but I can. All right. He said, and that's what I do in you. Yeah. If you allow me yeah. to come in, All right. I will get to that area that you have built walls yeah. around. All right. I will All get right. to that area that you don't want nobody to know about yeah. the All deep, right. dark secrets of what was said, yeah. what was done. I will get to that area and I will heal you. Heal you. Yeah. All right. And he said, I will lift that thing up off of yeah. you. All right. That that weight you will not carry no longer. Yeah. Amen. That's all right. Just allow him to do it. Allow. That's right. Hmm. That's all right. Wow, God. Ephesians 1 and 17. God has given us the spirit of wisdom. Amen. All right. Amen. That's one of the benefits. That's one of the promises. That's what, what we get yeah. as the promised children of God. All right. Wisdom. Wisdom. That's right. Wisdom. You ever been in a situation where you be like, man, how am I? I'm going to do this thing. And you sitting there just looking. And God say, do this. All right. All right. You did it. Yeah. And when you did it his way, it worked out in good for you. All right. That's right. That's right. Give him the glory. Thank you. Have you ever heard a word and you be like, God, I need you to break that word down and All right. he break it down yeah. for you? Yeah. And when he break it down for you, it's for you. For you. Amen. That's right. Amen. For you. That's right. Say that. Yeah. But he give you wisdom. That's hey, right. Man. I understand. Do y'all understand what we go through day to day life? 
-huh. Our trials and tribulation yeah. is to build us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. I cried in my father's house today. Because yeah. I told my father, I said, I thank God for him because he's using him. Yeah, that's right. That's to right. better me. Yeah. You know, we want to get mad because... God, we say the devil using them, but no, he, God is using God. these people to buff us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show up. Yeah, that's right. You can't pay attention to what they say and how they say. You need to pay attention to what's coming up in you. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. You need to pay attention to what your reaction is. Yeah. Show up. Because if you have a reaction, you out of order. Yeah. But if you have an act of God, uh -huh. oh man. All right, now. All right, all right. It's something, oh, you're getting glory, glory, after glory, after glory. Yeah, when you right. learn to get rid of your yeah. reaction. Because yeah. yeah. reaction is something that you do over all and right. over yeah. and over yeah. and over. It's a cycle. Yeah. And what God is trying to do is break cycles. Amen. Yeah. 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 Have your way, yeah. Lord God. Yeah, it's all right. But if we have him in us yeah. and we go through the buff and when you go through that buff yeah. you don't look at what they said right. you be like God okay how was I supposed to handle that All right. okay God wait a minute I'm angry right now because I'm offended right now. Yeah. And you take that to God. And I and you know, my dad said something to me about order this uh -huh. week. Yeah. And I talked to God and I said, I'm gonna be real. And I talked to God. I said, God, I always submitted. I said, even when I wasn't in ministry, I submitted. Yeah. And God said, Yeah, but you never really submitted under a leader uh -huh. when you are a leader. All right. He said, You in a leader position now, but you never Submitted under the leader All right. because when I got ordained, can I say God forgive me? I'm gonna tell the truth. I got abandoned mm. by the person who um, ordained me. Okay. But now God got me here, yeah. <laughs> and He using Him to buff me yeah. and to All teach right. me. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Because I always thought I was doing stuff right, yeah. but some of the stuff that I do. It's not right. All right. Amen. And God had to show me show that. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We got it all. We all have to learn to have a teachable yeah. spirit. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 <sighs> Proverbs 4 and 5, wisdom and the word of God. It talks about wisdom and the word of God. Yeah. Psalms 24 and 4 and 5, it talk about the heart and your hands. Being having a pure heart yeah. and clean hands. All right. We must have a pure heart. Amen. In order to reach it. We must have a pure yeah. heart. Yeah. If God live in your heart, he can't he ain't gonna live in it with no mess. All right. He ain't gonna live in it with no filth. Yeah. No. Nah. So right. if you walking around with unforgiveness, malice, right. hatred right. and all of that in your right. heart. Right. You counterfeit. Yeah. I'm gonna call it what it is. That's you counterfeit. Right. You faking. Right. Kind of like it is, baby. That's right. That's right. And what I was saying earlier about people preaching and teaching and ministering at home or whatever you minister to your friends or whatever, and you not being clean yeah. and your heart is not being pure and you yeah. got all these issues going on with yeah. you in Isaiah. 59, 1 through 7, it talk about the blood on your hand. Mm, mm, mm. All right. See, go back to Sarah. When she did what she did, Ishmael, blood, I believe, was on her hand. Because it wasn't corrected. All right. They corrected by moving it. Uh-huh. But they didn't correct it in the spirit realm. All right. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? All right. It, it wasn't corrected by saying, God, forgive me, Ishmael. Yeah. Forgive, forgive me. me. Yeah. Hagar, forgive, forgive me. Yeah. I was being selfish. Uh -huh. I brought you into this situation. Yeah. I made this decision. And then I cast you out. Yeah. Forgive right. me. I was operating in the wrong spirit. Yeah. 
Some people don't do that. Amen. They don't do that. All right. Amen. Amen. I mean, recently with me, I can tell you, I had somebody who lied on me uh -huh. to a friend. Not, they told three different lies at one time to them on me. Try to destroy my character. Yeah. And when they called me, they asked me why they hadn't heard from me. I said, well, I thought you didn't want to be bothered with me. Yeah. And they was like, why you say that? I said, I thought you was angry. They was uh -huh. like, what am I angry for? I said, well, you going around telling people this stuff. Yeah. And they said to me, I said this, but I, the other two things I didn't say. I forgave them. Yes. Like yes. I supposed yes. to. Yes. Didn't yes. look yes. at it no more. Yes, that's right. But then it came back from a family member, the same story. Yeah. You admitted one yeah. and lied about the other two. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. The, that means the truth ain't in you. Yeah. All right. That's right. So I I I struggled with that thing. I really struggled with that thing. For a minute, I struggled. I came down down to Mississippi struggling with that yeah, thing. Yeah. But then I realized, I said, God, I have to let that go. Let it go. That's right. And I said, I'm angry. Yeah. I felt betrayed. I felt like they disrespected me. And what they did, they tried to destroy my character. I said, God, I'm putting them in your hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgive them for they know not what they do. All right. That's right. That's right. Forgive them for not for what they <clears throat> forgive them for they know not what they do. And then I said, God, allow me to put it under the blood that it won't affect yeah. me no more. That's right. That's right. And it doesn't. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. It's so important that we as people, again, yeah. I'm going to iterate. Yeah. Get a relationship with God right. and get in the Word. That's right. You hearing this Word today, take this Word, read this Word, yeah. eat this Word, digest this Word. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to work wonders in your life. That's right. Because when it come up, the enemy come up, guess what you're going to do? You're going to have power to laugh at the enemy. Yeah. 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 You're going to be like, <laughs> instead of them stealing your joy, you're going to be like, uh-uh. Yeah. No. No. People call me, I said, no, we're not gonna do that. Uh -huh. No, we're not we not we're gonna we we're not gonna play into that. Right. You know, because once the spirit of God come in you, you're not a child no more. So them childish things doesn't yeah. right. work for you no more. Yeah. Right. It don't tickle your fancy yeah. no more to know what's going on in somebody else's house or all right. and all of that stuff. It, right. it, what it is is about what's going on in this house, right. your right. own house, yeah. your right. spiritual house. Because when you really get close to God, you don't want to get tainted. Yeah. You don't want to get messed up. So you be guarding your heart and your ears and your eyes and your mouth and your heart. You guard everything. You guard your homes. You put the blood of Jesus over the doorposts of your home. And you put the blood of Jesus over your family. You get God and you get you become who God called you to be, the pillow in your family. You you get you, you get the strength and the power that come from God that when you just operate in the spirit of God. Oh my God. Right. You change. Yeah. You're a new person. Yeah. You transform. Yeah. You're not the same. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 Oh, Jesus. Amen. In right. Proverbs 14 to 12, it said, There is a way while seems right <laughs> unto a man, but the right. end thereof uh -huh. are the ways of death. Yeah. See, that's what's got us in the predicament we in now. That's why the labor is few. Uh -huh. That's why we not ready. Yeah. The, the title of his, are you, are you ready? Are you ready? We not ready. All right. Because we have our own thoughts. Yeah. 
and we have our own ways. In Isaiah 55, it talk about that. Uh -huh. It talk about we having our thoughts. And our thoughts is not his thoughts. And our ways is not his ways. And his thoughts and his ways is higher yeah. than ours. That's right. When, it, when we get to the point that we can submit uh -huh. to the spirit of God and submit to his word, yeah. live the word, speak the word, hear the word, and be a doer of the word, yeah. my God. We powerful. That's we will see the promises. Yeah. You will see miracles. We will see the miracles that God said we supposed to do. Yeah. Raise up the dead. The blind should see. Come yeah. on now. We supposed to be doing All these right. signs and wonders yeah. and we're not doing it because we counterfeit. Alright. Alright. So we're going to let God rise. Yeah. And the enemy be scattered. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. We're going to let God rise yeah. and the enemy be scattered. Yeah. Yeah. I'm speaking that over us today. Yeah. Yeah. That God arise yeah. and, and the enemy yeah. be scattered. Yeah. Even the enemy that's in me. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. We got some enemies in us and we need to tell that enemy, hallelujah, I'm letting God arise up in me and you be scattered. Yeah. I'm evicting you. Yeah. I'm calling you out. We bless the God tonight. Yeah. Yes. I bless God because His word says, yeah. Will the real one uh -huh. stand up? Stand up. Yes, he talking about us promised yeah. children, yeah. not the counterfeit yeah. children. He need the real one of us to stand up to go get the yeah. harvest yeah. and bring them in. Yeah. But remember, when you go out there to get them, yeah. you must go out in him, in him. and him. not of yourself. That's right. That's we right. bless God for this word. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.